I'm here with Matt Sprange of Mongoose Publishing. Uh, Matt, you're the uh, CEO of Mongoose, I believe. Uh, sort of, yeah. Over, over here we call it Managing Director. Okay, so I'm too <laughs> used to dealing with Americans. Uh, so what's going on with Mongoose these days? You've been around for, what, 10, 15 years 11 now? 11 years now. 11 years, and you've grown massively in that time. Uh, we have. We've had, our, we've had our good times and our bad. Because you started off with the D20 materials, I believe. We did indeed. First off with the, uh, the Slayer's Guides, then yeah. the Encyclopedia Arcanes, and then the I, I, rem I remember them well, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so what are you doing these days? Because you've moved away from, uh, from D20, the D&D the the stuff, yes. haven't you? Um, yeah. It is a shame, but the um, uh, market was no longer there. Sure. Um, so no, these days our main systems are uh, Traveller and Legend, and of course our miniatures lines. Yeah. You've had a few uh, licences over the years as well, haven't you? Quite you've had few, uh, yes. uh, Judge Dredd. Starship uh, Troopers. Star yes, yeah, Starship um, Trooper, yeah. Um, Jeremiah, Elric, Moore. Is, 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 is there anything else planned? You, you, or can you not say? Or? Well, we kind of got um, uh, a time with Starfleet, which is um, a Star Trek license. Right. And we'll be bringing that to uh, Traveller within the next few months. As an RPG? As an RPG. Oh, right, OK. So you get to be... Um, Personally, I'm looking forward to being uh, part of Klingon Bridge Crew. It's Dead Man's Boost for promotion. Go on, your best Klingon impression. I don't, seriously, no. <laughs> uh, and uh, what else have you got going on at the moment? Um, well, as I say, uh, main systems are Traveller and Legend. For Traveller, we've got um, lots coming out. I'm um, just trying to think of it in my head at the moment. You've got an SRD for Traveller. Is it, is it an open? Traveller is semi-open. It's got an SRD. Legend is 100% open. Right. No SRD. Everything in the um, actual books is open content. I see, yeah. And uh, Traveller, what have you got planned other than the Star Trek? Is there anything? Because I, I ask this because I'm playing it at the moment, so it's, uh, it's at the top Indeed, of my mind. We've but got some, certainly got some things you'll want to see. Um, first, for our 2300 AD setting, okay. which is kind of like the bit before yeah, mainstream yeah. Traveller. Um, we've got a book you'll want to take a look at. All traveller players will want this one Tools for Frontier Living, okay. which is basically uh, an equipment book like the Central Supply Catalogue, mm -hmm. but it's got much less of a focus on um, weaponry and more on general equipment and vehicles. Right. Um, so if you want to go off uh, exploring uh, the wilderness, this is the book you want. It's got all sorts of cool kits in it. That does sound pretty cool. What about, uh, I, I don't think you'd use the word adventure path, but you know what I mean, uh, uh, campaigns. Yeah, well, we were talking about Secrets of the Ancients. Yeah, earlier. that's the one I'm playing at the moment. We're working on one right now. The first three adventures are already up. Pirates yeah. of Dranax. Yeah. Set in the Trojan Reach, which is a bit just below Spinwood Marches. Yeah, yeah. Um, the writer said that uh, if uh, Spinwood Marches is the frontier, then the Trojan Reach is the Badlands. <laughs> it's directly between the Aslan and the Imperium, with wild space in between. Mm. And the players uh, basically get to be pirates. They get to do everything they normally want to do in a traveller game, but the referee stops them. <laughs> well, I don't know if uh, your referee's like mine, but my referee just usually just says, no, <laughs> you can't do that. It's, um, it's a complete sandbox campaign. It's got ten adventures, but they can be put in at any time. Yeah. Um, but you're basically going off pirating, um, trying to be nice to colonies, talking to colony governor's daughters mm. um, uh, building up uh, an entire fleet if you like or if you just want one big ship it's up to the players how they approach it but all, all the tools are there and oh. it's free no, that, sounds, that sounds brilliant I'll be checking that out for sure um, would I be right in believing you have a starship combat game uh, yes we do actually we've got two of them for uh, miniatures base yes yeah. um, I'm sure I saw someone playing yes, yeah, yeah. yeah we've got um uh, it's called a Call to Arms, the system. We've got a Call to Arms Noble Armada, which is the space combat from the uh, Fading Suns role-playing game. Yeah. And we've got a Call to Arms Starfleet, uh, Star Trek, Klingons, Romulans, Federation. Or is that going to fit in with the Traveller um, stuff we, that you've got planned? We won't have uh, a direct rules link, um, because... Uh, you don't really have that crossover between miniature yeah. games and RPGs, at least not to that extent. Sure. Um, but if you get a ship in one, you'll, you'll get a ship in the other as yeah. well. I mean, you did a Babylon 5... That was you guys, wasn't that it? Was yeah, 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 you did Babylon 5 Starship same, Combat same Game as well. System. Oh, it's the same system. We've um, developed it. Oh, I see, right. Since yeah. Then. But, uh, yeah, same core system. Brilliant. 
Um, is there anything else that you'd like to uh, plug while we're here? If anybody's interested in World War II Naval, we've got a huge project on at the moment. Oh, I know so I've got a friend who definitely would be. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> we've um, been publishing a game for years now, Victory at Sea, which is our World War II Naval game. I've heard the name, yeah. Um, we've decided to go ahead with a miniatures line for it. Mm-hmm. Um, one to 1,800 scale, super detailed ships, uh, all 3D designed. We're aiming to try and do, over the next four or five years, everything that ever floated during World War wow, II. Wow, that's, uh, that's quite a challenge. And we're backing it up with a new edition of the rules. Um, release date, no idea, it'll be done when it's ready. Mm. But it's going to be in a big 13-inch size book, 300 odd pages, full colour throughout. It's going to look superb. That sounds fantastic. I'll definitely be checking that out. Please well, do. thank you so much, Matt. You're it's been welcome. a pleasure. Cheers.